Okay, hi there traders and welcome to Trade the Structure. So we've got some more live trade in action for you. This time it was just on the Nikkei. So it was only just one trade on the short side. Nothing on the SPY. We'll be flicking back and forward with the SPY as well. You'll see that through the video. But essentially you can see what I'm looking up here. It's on a one minute chart and really that five minute had sort of pushed up again and it was just starting to get sold into. I actually thought at one stage I was ready to buy it on a breakthrough at sort of that 28,100 area. A little pop up through, so you can see those highs there. So I'd marked it up what I want to see, pop through, pull back, the high low build on the one, one minute chart, then go long. Uh, but as it played out, it actually started to flush down. So really looking for, you can see the pressure building, building, building. One of the sides is going to give up sooner or later. So really just looking for that um, now that we had that sort of flush back into the support. We had that little wick through, I've got the support line through there. It's roughly around 28.055, say. Wick through there and bounce. I thought, okay, we're going to flush that and go straight back up to the top. But instead, we start to hold the high, uh, lower high, which is what I'm always looking for, just below the EMAs. Okay, so really just waiting for that to play out. Um, so I'm looking for the short side. The underlying index had gapped up on the open and it was a bit stretched in a negative market. So I was wary of going long. And that's why I didn't pull the trigger, uh, but I was happier to go short once I started to see this build up. So what I'll do, you'll see in a moment, or fast forward it, you just see the trades play out. Welcome back, guys. You can see the trade's been going in my favour. Been heading south as expected. I've got the two entries there. I've got an entry at 28.049 and 28.051. All right, so I'm short from those two levels. Been piecing out of some of it on the way down. I like to lock in some gains as much as I can. Uh, try to get at least at the very, you know, the very worst a break-even trade or some small gains. And then on the last bit, I'll just try to drop that. Um, you see here, just pull down that and trail that stop loss on the remaining. All right, so. All going well. What I was a bit nervous about, I saw the underlying index, like I said before, it gapped up, the trend is up, the momentum's up. It had a bit of a pullback. It sat straight on the MAs, and that's pretty much why I exited the last piece you'll see a bit later on. Okay, and locked away those goings. Now, it did go a bit further. It did go down a bit further, but you know, all in all, it was a good trade because it did start to ramp straight back up and has taken out those highs since. So I didn't get all of the trade. I didn't get all of the momentum on the down, but um, I did pretty well. I was pretty happy with it. All right, so... We'll just keep watching. It'll. I'll be closing this out. The last one. Uh, I think it's about there. Just close that. That last one. Well, I will in a moment, and then you know, call it a day. All right, guys. Thank you very much, and we'll speak to you soon.